Hi everyone, we're testing the Spear Gold Dot in 45 ACP, 230 grain jacketed hollow point. Their product number is 23966. Using a Colt government model, the 1911 with a 5 inch barrel as our test gun. The test media is SimTest, quite comparable to ballistic gel, and I'm adding four layers of denim. The Gold Dot is probably going to be considered to be a premium load no matter what caliber you are using. It is a bonded bullet. That is a characteristic preferred by law enforcement in particular because of its barrier penetration capabilities. Uh, the bonding process also ensures that we should not have jacket separation during the penetration expansion process. Also a very popular load among citizens such as myself. I don't carry the 45, but if I did, this would be one of my first choices. This is going to be one of these rare tests where you get to see this uh, in a separate or second handgun. I tested this in wet pack back in July of 2010 using a Glock 30. That's a short barrel, uh, technically speaking, 3.8 inches versus the 5 inch barrel here in the Colt government model. Spears advertised muzzle velocity is 890 feet per second. In this gun, five shot average, I'm coming in at 864 feet per second, and I came in at 774 feet per second in the shorter Glock 30. It's a very mild shooting load, as you can see in those opening three shots. So I'm going to line this up with the sim test block, and I'll be shooting from a distance of 15 feet. That is pretty close to perfect. Let's go digging. I'll show you the damage path and get some measurements for you. This is the largest segment of the block as I'm cutting through and trying to figure out where the damage path might be. I'll just cast these aside into this uh, boiler. I'll drop this into a larger pot of water, cook that at about 170 degrees for a couple of hours, and recast into another block. It's one selling point that uh, really got me on the SimTest Media, and it's very close to ballistic gel. Okay, the segment you want to see, I'm going to zoom in without giving it away, is right here. This is the left side of the path and the right side. I have some rationale for showing you both. Consistently with these SimTest uh, tests, we're getting denim that's blowing in about four or five inches with these tests. And what you can start to see is as those petals are expanding, they're cutting away at this media. And that's going to do the same thing in tissue as well. Now let's drop down to this one. Again, the denim carrying through. Now let's see how I'm going to do this. All right. I want you to see this. Look how deep that channel is. That's massive. That's uh, the result of your 45 bullet and then expanding while it's cutting through there. That is, that is massive. That's some damage right there. As we move on out, we get to the bullet itself. It did expand. I haven't taken it out. That's where it rested. I will take that out, obviously, in a moment. See if we have any denim plug in the cavity. Get some weight and diameter measurements. But from this perspective, it looks really good. As far as distance, the far, see if I can get in here, the far right side of the bullet is at 12 and a half inches. There's one of your measurements, and the average is 0.707. Two hundred thirty grain bullet. We're coming in at two thirty three point one. There is definitely some media wedged in between those pedals. The bullet on the left is from the two thousand ten test with the Glock thirty. That was with wet pack and denim. Sixteen and a half inches there and .75 average diameter. And you just saw the specs on what we cranked out here. So uh, interesting that we use two different guns varying muzzle velocities, different types of media with denim on both, but we have good results. Good penetration, expansion, no jacket separation, and no plugging of the hollow point cavity. Consistent at least in these two tests. Thanks for watching.